guys, welcome back to the channel. Man, it's like 100 degrees out right now. It's never fun having a black car when it's blazing hot outside. But one thing that's just fantastic when it comes to black cars is that once you get them clean, they look great, guys. Take a look at this. Now, today's video is a, a very interesting one. I really do want to bring up the topic of possibly saying goodbye to the Shelby Super Snake. We've had this car for just so long now. I, I've had this car since I think March of 2014. Around six months later, I sent it to Shelby American of Las Vegas. They did all of their Shelby Super Snake upgrades and made this car turn into what you see right now. The point I'm trying to make is that I've had this car for so long now. I really do love it. It's like something that I'm attached to. This was the car that started it all for me. This was my first ever Shelby Mustang. And since I enjoyed this car so much, that's what led me to decide, you know what? I should look into that all new Shelby GT350R because man, when I first saw that reveal over there in Detroit, I got hooked. The second I saw the R, I just told myself, I, I have to get that car. Basically, this car is the car that made me become a Shelby enthusiast. Now, you may be wondering, why am I even contemplating this? Why am I even thinking about selling the GT500 Super Snake? Well, I feel as if if I did say goodbye to the Super Snake, it would free up a lot of resources and these resources would allow me to add a few new vehicles to the channel and it would allow me to get this new 2020 shelby gt500 and do all the shelby american upgrades that i plan to do with it that is if shelby does make a shelby super snake version of the 2020 gt500 that would be very interesting and i know that this is the last of the manual shelby gt500s and that's all because of the fact that this new 2020 gt500 is a dct vehicle now i have driven a few dct cars myself i've driven a mclaren also a lamborghini they feel great they're so fast when it comes to the speed of the shift when it comes to a dct vehicle and a stick shift and i mean like a manual with a clutch they are just so different there really is no way to compare them yes the dcts are like a manual they are an automated manual i feel as if when i drive a manual transmission vehicle and i mean like the shelby mustangs i feel so connected with the car i feel this extra layer of engagement no computer is going to tell me what to do i can shift into any gear i want and that's all because you control absolutely everything about the car if i were to sell the gt500 super snake i don't think i would have the chance to ever get one like it again because this is like one of the most equipped super snakes that you can buy so again what do you guys think should i sell the gt500 super snake and allow myself to add a few new vehicles onto the channel or should i stick with it this car is just so awesome like i said and you guys i know for a fact many of you are huge fans of this gt500 super snake i think it's one of the most viewed super snakes anywhere on the internet people all over the world contact me and let me know how much they like this car let's say that i did sell the super snake i think the biggest issue i would face would be trying to find another vehicle like it in the future if i did want to buy it back you may be wondering well what makes a signature super snake different than your normal ones right well mostly it is an appearance package that being you'll notice on the sides you have a larger badge shows flags next to the snake and right below that it shows carol shelby's signature as well as below that it says signature edition now the signature cars were designed to commemorate the gt500 because as you guys know back in 2014 it was the last year of the shelby gt500 ford was discontinuing this car and their all new s550 platform mustang was going to be released the following year moving along to the front shelby actually put back in the front grille which is a uh, very unique because as you guys know the 2014 and 2013 gt 500s don't have a front grille so that is very interesting the signature edition cars also received new wheels these are the venice wheels they are made by shelby and moving along to the back of the car you'll find your special signature edition super snake batch lastly you do get a few interior changes but we're just going to disregard that for this video my point is 
this is a rare vehicle. There are only 50 of them out there. This is number nine out of 50. So this is a pre-10 car. When it comes to finding another one, it's just gonna make it that much harder. If I did sell this car, I know for a fact I would regret it. However, let's say that I did, the amount of doors that it would open would just be so amazing. I'd be able to add a few new vehicles onto the channel, change everything up a bit. It would be exciting, but again, I just, I would miss this car so much. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna launch the Auto Trader ad in the description down below, you'll find it. If this video receives more support regarding selling the vehicle, then I think I'm just gonna have to do that. And if you guys would want me to keep it, I would completely understand that. Depending on what you guys think, I believe I'm gonna use that as a foundation for making this huge decision. So what do you guys think? Should I keep the GT500 Super Snake or should I sell it, get something new? I, I really don't know, but I do want to get your opinions regarding this. So please let me know in the comment section down below and I, I can't wait to read all your responses. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Also hit that like button, it really does help me out. And subscribe for much more great content to come. I'll see all of you in the next video.